Many people are going through hard times, facing problems that seem too big to solve. They feel stuck, and despite their best efforts, it feels like there's no way out. Even with all their intelligence and all the resources they have, answers and solutions remain out of reach. This has left many feeling helpless and without hope. However, there is one special key that has the power to change everything. Prayer. When people talk to God through prayer, especially in the name of Jesus Christ, they're using a key that can open doors to solutions for even the toughest problems. This key of prayer is powerful and always available. It can bring hope, answers, and peace to those who feel defeated and overwhelmed by their challenges. Perhaps you too have been seeking a solution for quite some time now. Well, the wait is over. The answer you've been looking for is finally here. Seize the key that unlocks every door. I declare that every door shut against your life and destiny shall open now in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, our Savior, utilized this master key during his time on earth, ensuring no door remained closed, no destiny bound. With this powerful key, barriers were lifted and paths were made clear for humanity's destined journey. Each lock yielded, every chain broke under the profound influence of this key. There wasn't a situation too stubborn, nor an affliction too grievous, that could withstand the potent force of Jesus' prayer. His unction of prayer was the master key that transcended earthly barriers, unlocked heavenly doors, and ushered in an era where hope, grace, and divine intervention became accessible to all of humanity. Every door locked against human destiny bowed in submission to the power of this master key. No disease remained incurable, and the impossible became possible through him. His journey started in prayer and ended with prayer. Now lift your voice and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive the grace to pray fervently, to experience unlimited breakthroughs as is my divine entitlement. Remember, prayer is not just a choice, but a necessity to fully embrace God's will for your life. And His will is for you to prosper, to be the head and not the tail wherever you find yourself to be blessed with sound health and enduring wealth to glorify His name on earth, grant you the grace to serve Him with peace and comfort. The Almighty does no harm, wills no bad, and thinks no evil. He has predetermined your success since the beginning. You are not an afterthought in His agenda. You are contemplated before your formation. However, Satan, the old serpent, the enemy of goodness, a hater of God and his children, the persecutor and destroyer, is always trying to thwart what God has planned for you. Beloved, there is no permanent solution anywhere else outside of God. I said permanent, because whatsoever God does is forever. Also, Satan gives a false solution that appears as a real solution. This kind of solution does not last. In fact, it multiplies affliction and proliferates problems. Many have fallen into the pit of deception. You will not be trapped in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice once again and declare after me with passion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree upon my life that I shall not fall into any demonic pit. I escape the traps and arrows of the enemy. Satan and his demonic hosts will not triumph over my life. No weapon formed against me and my loved ones shall prosper. I am not 
nor will I ever be, the devil's candidate. The will of God shall reign supreme in my life. I am clothed with the armor of God, standing firm against the schemes of the devil. With the shield of faith, I quench every fiery dart of the wicked. I am established in righteousness. Oppression and terror are far from me. I walk in divine health, prosperity, and victory. The blessings of the Lord chase me down and overtake me. I'm a beacon of light, love, and hope in this world. Every place the sole of my foot treads upon has been given to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, if the Son of God himself had to pray to open all doors and accomplish God's will, who are you not to pray to? Through prayer, you'll gain access to the throne of grace. Prayer activates all the blessings and provisions God has set aside for you. It's at the place of prayer where you fully embrace them. God is waiting for what you will say to Him. He does not want you to be cheated by Satan in any way. That's why He sacrificed His Son, Jesus Christ, so that when you pray, Satan will have no ground to stand upon. Is death and resurrection rendered Satan hopeless over your matter? It is needless for you to suffer again. Do not allow yourself to be cheated. Agree with God at the place of prayer. He is a covenant keeping God. He has promised that he will never fail. As you will be devoted to your part of the deal, he is committed to fulfilling his. It is time for you to get up and rise to the top. That ground level is not your position. The topmost top is your spot. Arise and seize what is yours. Stand up and speak against unwanted situation and anything contrary to God's will. You cannot be comfortable with mediocrity by being complacent. God gave you his best. Why would you settle for scraps or second best? You have been sitting for so long, beloved. Get on your feet and say, it's my time and season to shine. I must rise and shine. All right, now get up and do some heartfelt prophetic actions. Declare this energetically. By the power of the bloodshed on the cross of Calvary, by the authority of God in the Holy Scripture, I take full delivery of what is mine in God. I refuse to be cheated. No diversion, no subversion, no reduction or deduction of my portion in God. Any attempt by Satan, the thief to steal or tamper with my destiny, is thwarted by the power in the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am rooted and grounded in love and grace. The hand of God rests upon me. His favor encompasses me like a shield. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I condemn. My steps are ordered by the Lord, and He delights in my way. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is He that is in me than he that is in the world. I live, move, and have my being in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, I am victorious. Continue to tell God something. Do not stop. God wants you to call Him into action. He is always waiting for your call. The scripture makes it clear in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3. Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. In every season of your life, the Lord extends an invitation to draw near, to call upon His name with confidence and anticipation. Every prayer you say goes up to heaven like a beautiful offering to God. 
It brings answers that solve mysteries, give peace, and make clear paths where there were none before. Listen, there are lots of benefits to calling God. You don't know what you are missing by your refusal to call God always. A wise man said, if you turn to God once, he will turn to you a million times. Such is the great God we serve. Just take a singular action to call him and watch him manifest his almightiness in your life. There are mysteries that surround humanity. It is only the divinity that can decipher those mysteries. And the divinity has no business with humanity until humanity transacts with the divinity at the place of prayer. Many are wondering why they are not seeing the manifestation of the supernatural in their lives. The simple answer is a lack of commitment to the place of prayer. Anywhere you see God moves, know that prayer has been invested. God does not manifest himself anyhow. He must be invited. He is a man of honor. He will not go where he is not welcomed or invited. That is why you cannot afford to be lazy by not taking your place at the place of prayer. Right now, take a moment to ask God for help. You may need to pause for a while. Say, Lord, I receive your spirit of prayer. Help me to never be lazy. Empower me to always host your glory in my life. I am ready to experience the supernatural as a natural part of my life. Thank you, Father, because I know with your guidance, I will not fail. I affirm that with you, every mountain of difficulty shall be made low and every valley of despair lifted. Your favor shall continue to follow me and doors of opportunities previously locked shall swing open effortlessly. Your peace, a guardian to my soul, will silence the storms and quiet the waves of anxiety. I am not a captive to fear or doubt, for your love casts out every shadow. By the authority of Jesus, every chain is broken, and I walk in the liberty of sonship, a heir to the kingdom, destined for greatness. My tomorrow is blessed, for the architect of the universe holds my blueprint. Thank you, Father, for this transformation. I am not just a survivor, I am an overcomer. Every step forward is a step into divine destiny. In Jesus' matchless name, I pray. Amen.